Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about the new Lat Latina Snow White. Yeah, that yeah, I almost forgot about what I was about to say because I drew a blank. But yeah, um, there's been casting, and at this point, I'm I'm not even I'm not upset. I just think it's stupid, to be honest. Um, I don't understand why we can't just cast these characters correctly um so west side stories rachel zaglaria i don't i don't care I, I know i butchered her name but um she's going to be playing snow white and it i mean it's kind of in the title why she was called snow white pale as snow black hair that is black and beautiful and lips like Ruby Rose. I I mean the girl don't look nowhere close to it. I I just don't understand. I mean to be honest, you guys are like literally stretching people's you know, ableness to be like, okay, this works. This can work out. At this point, if it doesn't become a parody of itself, it needs to be because now you're trying to you're trying to ask people to to forget about what they know Snow White to look look at. You know you you know the first Disney princess and the first feature length movie that Disney did. You know the thing that put them on the map. Really, I'm just I'm just being honest. Like I don't I don't understand how you know we can take the first featured film movie and the first Disney princess that Disney has. And disrespect her that bad just to prove, like, look, we need diversity. Because I just kind of, kind of wondering, like, what are we getting from all of this? What is literally the point of, of the race swap? I mean, to, to, to what get people upset or to get people to reject it, not show up, and then here, here you go and do another thing is like, okay, you, you said that, hey, we're gonna race swap these characters anyway. That's cool. You do you, okay? But don't get mad when you get criticism from it. And don't get mad when people reject it. And what's going to happen is, I think what's going to happen is more and more people are going to reject the, the, these kind of changes, right? And all they're going to do is try to go and blame the fans and be like, it's the fans' fault. They didn't uh, want this movie to succeed, so they didn't go and watch it. Well, didn't you tell them it's not for you? It's not for you or whatever and stuff like that. Or don't watch it, you bigot. Okay, then. People showed you they're not going to watch it. And then you tr you're going to get get upset that it doesn't do as well as the other live action movies. And then you're going to be wondering what happened. You know what happened. You unnecessarily race swapped a character. For no, re for no apparent reason. Because at this point, I, lose, lose the whole... Oh, we just cast the best actress or actor for the role. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You literally purposely went out and looked for somebody that's nowhere close to the description of Snow White. And let's be honest, Kristen Stewart was nowhere close to being Snow White. But you know why they chose her? Because she was pale as snow and had hair like dark hair and put on some Ruby Rose lipstick. Was she beautiful? Hell no. That's the one thing they missed was the beautiful part. But hey, beggars can't be choosers sometimes. But the problem is, it's just like, another thing is, Disney, you guys just had a show recently. What? Not that long ago that ended. <laughs> you know? Once upon a time. Well, it did end a long time ago. It ended like, what, I think in 2012, I believe? If I'm not mistaken, no, not 2012. Hold on, Let, don't get me, don't get me lying. Don't even get me lying, cause I I know it didn't. Once upon a time, let me see. Um, actually, it ended 2018. So 19, 20, so three years, three years. It's only been off the air for three years. And who was the main character once upon a time besides? Emma Swan, who is the daughter of, you guessed it, Snow White and Prince Charming. 
Disney, I know you guys are in the mood for like these remakes and being all creative or whatever and stuff like that. But to be honest, you were more creative in Once Upon a Time than you are right now with the live action remakes. I mean, those were live action depictions of your classic characters. They were based off of the actual fairy tales of those characters, but they were still based on your your versions of your characters. And, you know, you you created this entire franchise, this entire world of different variations of how the fairy tales started or how everything changed or how everything was literally connected or how everybody is almost family. That's way more creative than what you've been doing in the past couple of years. I'd rather tell people, hey, go watch Once Upon a Time if you really want to see these Disney princesses in a, in a new light. I'm just being honest. Hell, you even have you even have them being used. Um, what's the darn what's the darn um book? There is was it um J Jakaya Princess or something like that? I believe. Um, and the what's that book called? The the uh. Mm -hmm. It was, it was something. God, I remember these kids got stuck in the thing, um, in the amusement park in Disney World or whatever and stuff like that. I think it was like Spellbound or something like that. It was something. Oh, man, I, I am so upset that I, I'm drawing a blank right now on the character. Like, dang. That is crazy that I am drawing a blank right now on the character because I know the main character, I mean, one of the villains were, was literally um, <laughs> Maleficent in this one. So, yeah. Um, and, of course, she appeared in Ke Kingdom Keepers. That's what it was. Oh, man, I am so sorry, guys. I am drawing a blank right now while I'm doing this video. I'm not re-recording it because, you know, I'm going to just show the real me anyway. But, um, no, Kingdom Keepers. Kingdom Keepers was a pretty good, interesting way of, like, bringing in Disney characters and doing something creative or interesting with them. And, of course, you have your classic Kingdom Hearts thing, um, Once Upon a Time as well. And, um, Jahia Princess, I believe. Mm. I think that's the name of it. Japanese princess. Oh, Ke Kelala. Kelala from Kelala Princess. Or called Little Princess is what it what is what is it called, I believe. That's what it that was that's what it's called. Right? Yeah. From Kahala Princess. And she that that's another that's another thing, you know, it's a manga that you could do something with as well. And you could do something different. You could animate that. Matter of fact, go back to 2D, please. Just go back to 2D. The, the only reason why I'm making the video is because I feel like you guys are just so creatively bankrupt that you feel like you have to hold on to the past and just reuse the past. But if you hold on to the past, you can't really do anything in the future because almost all your future projects are literally remakes or sequels to something. It's really nothing brand new. And the only brand new thing is coming from Pixar. And you guys disrespect Pixar so much. It don't even make no logical sense. You know? But I'm just saying. I kind of just wish you guys would look at how outside of the Disney movies. You guys were able to be very creative with the Disney princesses in different ways that a lot of us ain't never seen. So I'm just saying if you really want to do something different. Take Kingdom Keepers, take Kohala Princess or whatever, or do something with Kingdom Hearts. Make it a movie. Do something like that. Show these characters in something different. Don't put any woke ideologues in there. Treat the characters how they were originally created and let them be those characters. And show them if you really have to go back to the past with these characters. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Try to be some, do something creative with them because you can. I know you can, or just do more original stuff. When was the last time we've been introduced to another brand new Disney princess? You know what I'm saying? 
Can we get can we get back to 2D animation, please? Yes. Our, the, your last 2D animation movie was um, Princess and the Frog. Thank God you guys didn't um, bog Tiana down in, in 3D because she looks way better in 2D than 3D. I mean, well, that's that's just me for all of it. I rather I prefer Disney sticking to 2D more so because their their 2D work is way better than their 3D work. Pixar is good at 3D. Let Pixar have it. I don't mind if Pixar have because Pixar is brilliant at 3D. But Disney, 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 2D animation, and you need to get back on it. You need to show the world how important 2D animation is again. That's all I'm saying. Um, but you know, hey, the actress she wants to do Snow White. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not gonna support it. I don't care if it happens or not. I'm just kind of disappointed that we're still doing this. After it's proven that a lot of people hate these race change things or whatever, but hey, you do you. Just don't blame the fans if it crashes and burns. You have nobody to blame but yourself. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.